Hey, all right, so I'd like to start this video off with a disclaimer. Uh, first of all, I'm not instructing anybody to do anything. I'm not uh, answering uh, or interpreting anything that the ATF has come up with uh, concerning uh, AR pistols. I'm simply having a little conversation and, and sharing ideas. That's it. So don't get mad at me. <laughs> I had a video recently where a lot of people seem to get upset um, about this whole AR pistol issue as if, you know, I'm the one causing it. And, uh, but anyway, so that's my disclaimer. Uh, but let me ask you this question. Do you really trust the ATF? Do you trust them? I mean, they said that pistol braces were legal, and then they said they weren't. You know, when the bump stock first came out, it was legal, and then it wasn't, you know. So uh, the ATF is known to change their minds and, uh, you know, shift the goalpost uh, whenever they seem to be good and ready to do it. But anyway, uh, I want to go back over this uh, buffer tube issue that, uh, you know, I talked about in the last video. And, uh, again, uh, don't take anything that I say as gospel. I'm not trying to claim that I'm right about anything that you're going to hear in this video, just talking and sharing ideas. That's it. Okay. So, um, anyway, so back to the buffer tubes. Um, now when you look at an AR pistol and if you trust the ATF, uh, which I'm sure many of you do. You really trust them to go ahead and uh, enforce their new rules exactly as they, writ as, they, as they are written. And they're not going to change because they're really honorable people. And um, so there are just some considerations that one might have to make, you know, based on understanding how the ATF plays the game. Okay, so back to the buffer tube. Now, as you see, I have the pistol buffer tube on this lower and uh, here we see a standard carbine buffer tube all right now if this buffer tube came on this uh, this lower here uh, would you say and I'm only asking the question would you say that this pistol is designed to be fired from the shoulder if it has this buffer tube well Here's the big question. Was it designed to be fired off the shoulder? Now, that's something worth considering. So you would say, well, if it has a buffer tube that accepts a stock or a stabilizing brace, uh, it is equipped with that from the manufacturer. It could be interpreted as designed to be fired from the shoulder. Why? Because this is a functioning part of this firearm, okay? It's a functioning part. It's the buffer tube, the buffer spring, and the buffer goes inside of there. Uh, you need that for the operation of the gun. And it has this uh, adjustability track uh, for stock. So was it designed to be fired from the shoulder? Well, it could be interpreted that way. It could be interpreted that way because... It is equipped with a type of buffer tube that allows it to be fired from the shoulder. Okay, so again, the ATF has its way of interpreting things. The ATF changes its mind. I don't care what the rule says right now. You know, it could say something else later. That's just the way the game is played. Now, this pistol buffer tube... Uh, again, as I mentioned in the other video, uh, is not designed to be fired from the shoulder, nor is it designed to accept a, um, a stock or a pistol brace. Now, people say, what about the SBA tactical? Okay, that was designed for the buffer tube. The buffer tube was not designed for that particular brace. Okay, so you can design a brace around an item that was not produced to fire from the shoulder, but this buffer tube 
is produced to accept the stock, which could be fired from the shoulder. Therefore, the interpretation uh, could change. So I'm sure, like I said, many of you trust the ATF and that they're going to enforce their final rule just the way they said it, and it'll never change. They won't change their mind about it at all. They won't tell you later on that this buffer tube here uh, makes your AR pistol uh, a, a, a rifle because, a short barrel rifle, because it is designed to be fired from the shoulder because it accommodates you know, a device that would allow you to fire it from the shoulder. I'm sure they would never do that. No, they're just going to stick to the rule that they uh, came up with originally, and uh, everything is going to be fine, and flowers will grow in your front lawn. Uh, so if you really trust the ATF that much, uh, well, good for you. I don't particularly trust them like that. So I feel better with this uh, pistol buffer tube on here because it shows that the intent of the firearm is not to be fired from the shoulder. It's not designed for that purpose. Uh, it's like the air pistol. The air pistols when they first came out, uh, you know, they came out with these large diameter buffer tubes uh, that did not have a, a track to accept a stock or anything like that. And they were cheek fired guns and, uh, or you could push forward and, and shoot them, you know, however you decide it there, you know, but uh, that was their uh, intended function. Uh, wasn't uh, designed to be functioned from the shoulder. I mean, excuse me, it wasn't designed to be, uh, you know, shot from the shoulder. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to talk about that, uh, make a few points, uh, because a lot of people were getting kind of upset, which about my previous video, I don't understand why they were getting upset, because none of what I said in that video did I claim to be true or correct. It was simply asking questions. I said that this might be problematic, is what I said to them. And, um, you know, people were, you're wrong, you know, you're wrong. Well, I'm wrong that this might be problematic. I'm wrong. So then you trust the ATF. You think that uh, whatever they say today is going to go on forever, and they're never going to change their mind. Well, I, you know, don't have the same faith in the ATF that you do. Uh, I believe that they will change their mind. I believe that they will eventually claim, you know, if they're able to be successful with enforcing their rule and they win the challenges, uh, this buffer to uh, make your gun an SPR. Yeah, I do believe that's what they will do. Um, so uh, anyway, just wanted to bring that issue up talk about it a little bit and um you know i hope you all have a great day